Thanks for stopping by the My Reader Minutes. If you're new here, welcome. To all who have joined me on my journey, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Now, I'm only going to be here for a few minutes. I don't have much time. But I wanted to just come here for a moment and talk about Miss Sunny Meeks. Yeah, I wanted to talk about Sunny. Sunny has been conned, y'all. It all makes a lot of sense now. It all makes a lot of sense. This ninja right here came in like a whirlwind. Moses, a.k.a. Jason. J-A-Y-S-O-N. It makes so much sense now. She was bragging about him being an entrepreneur and how he was made, he was a millionaire and all this other kind of stuff. Yet, was he frauding people? Was this, was he he frauding people when he was in his 20s? And how long was he not, if this happened when he was in his 20s, how long was he supposed to not have to, to be able to get a credit card as long as he was on parole or probation or whatever as a parole? As long as he was on parole, he wasn't allowed to get a credit card? I'm not, I don't understand that. She said these charges from when he was 20. Was he selling houses when he was 20-some years old? Help me understand that. Somebody is lying. I think he was lying to her, honestly. I think she's been conned. I don't think she knows the half, and she's just finding out most of it as she goes along. It makes a lot of sense why he walked her down the aisles in 90 days. It makes a lot of sense because he needed to to hitch himself to someone that had a little bit going on more than what he had going on. Or he could see that she was a go-getter. She had all the licenses. She flipping houses. She buying houses. She's doing all this stuff the legitimate way. And he was along for the ride. That's my personal opinion. I don't have no proof, but I feel like that's how it went. And she was conned in the process. Little did she know she's a victim too. Poor Sonny. And I know she said she's not looking for no sympathy and I'm not trying to give her none. Ain't nobody trying to drag her, but I feel like he conned her also. She didn't have a clue. She would not have walked down the aisle with somebody that can't get a credit card. Sorry. Mm-mm. She would not have walked down the aisle for somebody who can't cross state lines. Mm-mm. She didn't know. He conned her. He was acting like he could, you know, wouldn't nobody find out. Why don't you think anybody would find out? And then he wasn't supposed to switch jobs or something to that effect without 10 days notice or something like that. He was still, was he still going to his probation? P.O.? Is it called a P.O.? Was he still going to his probationary office or parole office or whatever it's called? He must have been. She had no clue. I don't believe she knew. I don't have her tying herself down to someone that can't move and can't do stuff. Now, granted, he had a truck and you can get a LLC or a EIN, EIN number for a business. I guess, right? I guess you can do that when you, um, I don't know. You could have gotten somebody else's name. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I feel like she's been lied to and she's just finding out. And I pray that she's not pregnant. But I mean, I know she wants to be pregnant, but I don't know if this is a good plan. I don't think this is a good idea, Sonny, to be pregnant by him. He's got 11 months, federal time. Most likely he has to do the entire 11 months. He just got sentenced September the 11th, which means you have until all of next summer before he comes home. Now, I'm not saying you won't see him because I'm sure you're going to go see him. And I guess he can have conjugal visits, right? As that, that works in the Fed pen, he can have conjugal visits. But at the same token, 
You didn't have a clue, girl. She didn't know. But I wonder how much Destiny did know. Because I don't know if Destiny knew either. Because I'm sure he was singing that same song and dance to her too. Making her think that she had a little bit. He had a little bit. That's why she was so envious of you. But I guarantee she ain't envious of you now. Luckily, you have what you have. And you had started all this stuff prior to him. So you know how to shake and move. Unfortunately, you won't have to shake and move for the both of you if you decide that you want to stay married to him. Because I would get this sucker annulled. Because I feel like he married you on false pretenses. Unless you're not, unless, you, unless she isn't telling the truth about what she knew going in. He married her under false pretenses. And he, that would be an annulment. Uh, we ain't gonna make it. Mm -mm. When you come home. I mean, what is he gonna do? Work for her? I guess he can work for her. Clean up the properties and stuff. He could do something like that, I guess. And I guess, like you said, she's, he has a truck. So has she been driving his truck for him? Now she got to do her stuff, his stuff, all by herself for 11 months. Yeah, well, if you love him, I guess she'll stick it out. But she wasn't crying yesterday because he was gone for 11 months. She been knew it. She was crying yesterday because she didn't understand all the backlash she was getting because she was being nasty. She was being nasty. I mean, because, you know, actually, she's probably a barrel of emotions. She probably is mad at herself one day, sad the next, crying the next. You know, she's probably a ball of emotions. And if she's pregnant, that's even worse. Because she don't know what, whether she's coming or going. He conned her. That's where I'm going with it. He conned her. And she did not see that coming. He came like a whirlwind. Swept her off her feet. And all she could hear was the word wife and my husband. Because guess what? She's never been married before. Those of us that have been married before have been down that road. I mean, I'm not knocking marriage. I liked, I liked it for the first year. <laughs> I was married for a total of six. I liked it for the first year and a half, give or take. But been there, done that. So I guess I don't, you know, it's not a need for me to, to do it again. I mean, if I do it again, I'll do it, but not against it. But I ain't running down no aisle, I'll tell you that. But I noticed that women, and men too probably, if they are, have the desire to be married, it's something about saying my wife or something about saying my husband. You know what I mean? And it uh, sounds good to the ear because you can say you belong to someone type thing. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I pray that um, she makes it, and she will. She's strong. She's she, she she'll she'll she's not gonna break. But she should have known it was only a matter of time for y'all nosy bloggers to get that information. It was coming. She knew it was coming. She just said to prepare herself. And I don't know why she came so hard at first though, because she should have came humble first. That's how she should have came first. Like, y'all, even though she really couldn't say a whole lot, she just would have been like, it's just a lot going on. Be patient with me. I'm going to come on here and talk about my business, blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't even gone there. And then if y'all had found out, then y'all would have understood where my emotions were coming from. But she came right, attacking people, right? A windmill for the man that conned her. Because I'm, I'm going to say it. She was conned. She didn't have a clue. Can't believe she would tie. I can't believe she would tie herself down with someone that can't get a credit. I 
I just can't, you know. How you an entrepreneur and you ain't got no credit? I'm just saying. How you a millionaire and ain't got no credit unless you are in the streets? You know what I mean? If you're in the streets, I can see maybe-ish. But you coming across like y'all were legit or like he was legit. So he couldn't have been but so legit. So somebody lying. Just saying. <laughs> Anywho. That's all I got, y'all. It's unfortunate. And I wish them both the best. But, um... Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is Libra Nation. I'm sorry, not Libra Nation. It is Libra season. And if you find it so kind in your heart to send me a like, it's free. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it. For the whole month of October, which is my birthday month. I'm trying to grow it. Please, 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 please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Everyone be blessed. Peace.